Hello, Guardians, and welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. We're going to be previewing Haru Abscondytus's skills, and we'll see if she is viable in the current gameplay that we have. Okay, so let us see. Standard skill, compensatory justice. So charge, Haru dashes forward with one fateful slice, causing kinetic damage up to five enemy targets in its path. Faithful Slice can pass through obstacles in its way, which is nice. And this is also nice in case that you are being attacked by a horde of, um, of enemies. So, passive. Af after Haru strikes a target, uh, standard skill cooldown decreases and certain S energy is restored. This I am, however, interested in because of this passive. Because, again, you can spam this standard skill so especially with the with cooldown reduction and um s energy restored uh it will really boil down how damage how much damage this skill can deal out or dish out so again i'm impressed with the standard skill uh, she's going to be very very usable by the way if she's gonna if if this is the case in terms of uh hordes or mobs she is really, really going to be usable, guys, with this standard skill, as long as this is going to be spammable. Next up is a support skill, which is Swift Execution. So Haro hits the Evidentiary Slash three times, um, dealing kinetic damage. The attacks with one executory, Executory Slash dealing kinetic damage. This one, this feels like um, um in terms of visuals this looks like the support skill of uh, wild hunt so in terms of visuals that is what i recall seeing this but this i will have to hold my judgment because of again we don't know how big of a damage this skill deal deals so more or less support skill is a 50 50 at this point but the standard skill i like especially if the cooldown and the S energy restoration is going to make this skill spammable. Lastly, is going to be the ultimate skill. So Triumphant Body, Victorious Blade. Haru violently slashes at the enemy targets in, in a wide area in front of her. Dealing kinetic damage. Haru immediately gains victory points and enters the body as Blade State. And victory point is consumed per second in this state. So if you notice that this skill has a has a meter bar in the middle, so that is the victory points you consume that. So basically, this state lasts for 50 seconds because if I remember, um, the maximum points in that meter is going to be 50. So it's going to be a counter. So once she enters this state, basically what they're saying is she's gonna be, have increased damage okay so going to um a compensatory justice cooldown is great reduced and no longer consumes s energy when used it causes an additional fateful slice however each time compensatory justice is used it will consume an additional additional victory point or victory points so technically it won't your 50 points will not be really 50 seconds it will be less if you could you consume additional victory points so in the body as blade state use ultimate skill again to trigger final blow consuming additional victory points and dealing kinetic damage to targets in the wide area in front of haru so when victory points is not enough haru can also trigger final blow but after it is used haru will exit the body as blade state so again this um she, she she goes into a state deals damage uh if you want to let her deal more damage or if she deals more damage then she consumes additional victory points again as i've said the victory points is is a counter supposedly for for the ultimate skill or for the state that's with which she is in but if she consumes more victory points definitely it's going to be lower than 50 seconds the duration of this state so what do I think of um, how she's built? I'm actually curious with both her standard skill and ultimate skill. How big of a damage is this? How effective 
is she gonna be because right now she is going to be your main um dps if you plan to use her um her standard skill and ultimate skill is actually very interesting support skill right now i'm i'm 50 50 on it but again if you plan to pull for her definitely she should be your main dps in some of the stages by the way she's not going to be applicable for uh, for a lot of stages because again her kit is based on mobs is based on swarming enemies um i don't think she is going to be she's going to be effective in bosses in single targets but she's going to be very 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 effective against mobs and against swarms that come after you so either you use her as your main dps or you use her i think as your support she is going to be good so again it's just um you know we just have to see whether how much damage she deals and probably see if we guys are going to pull for her so more or less before you guys pull for her i'll do a worth it video if she's worth pulling based on her complete stats so that you'll be well advised on you know how valuable she is will she fit in our current gameplay in our current meta or will you will you just be pulling for her because she is waifu so those are my thoughts guys i hope that was enough for now but again don't miss my last review on her before you pull uh, if she's worth pulling or not so thank you very much guys guardians stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here